What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have the guitar open and it's a very special event And I know that you guys out there that love Roger Federer, you've been waiting for this day Let's go to the withdrawals before we get to the draw though So a couple of players have withdrawn Kevin Anderson, he's pulled out Corino Booster is also out Her catch Gail Monfils is also not playing this event Alright, let's go to the top of the draw of this ATP 250 event The top four seeds get a bye in the first round And Dominic Team, he's back since the Australian Open Of course, played a couple of tough matches at the Australian Open Lost in the fourth round. He'll be looking for some form. He's going to play a wild card in the second round no matter what. We have Zahid. And then we have Karatsev, of course, making the semifinals of the Australian Open. So Karatsev versus Team. That's a tough match for Dominic Team in his comeback. Then we have a qualifier versus Bublek, who's in some great form. Beat Sasha Zverev last week. Winner of that's going to play either Opelka or the number five seed, Persister Agu. And that is such a great matchup. We've got a big server versus a great returner. So that's a great popcorn match. Circle that one. Then we've got the number three seed and defending champion, Rublev, Getting a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Gasquet or a qualifier in the second round. Then we have Lajevic versus Fucevic. Two players who are in a little bit of form over the last couple of weeks. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or seventh seed, Stan Wawrinka. So Stan the man. He's played well at this event in the past. And be looking to do something similar this year with a good draw. But big names. I know you've got Team. You've got Rublev. You've got Stan the man. There's a couple of good unseeded players as well. Fucevic. He's in some form. Karatsev. We all know he's in form. And Bublek as well has made a couple of finals in 2021. So watch out for all those names in this top half. All right, let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. You got the number six seed, Goffin. He versus Krajanovic in the first round. That's a fun match. Winner of that match is going to play the Sonigo or Fritz in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus Pospisil in the first round. Winner of that match is going to play number four seed, Shapovalov, who we haven't seen, it seems like, for a long time because he lost kind of early at the Australian Open. So we haven't seen him for a few weeks now, but he's back in Doha. Then we got the number eight seed, Chorich versus Jaziri in the first round. Chorich is in some form, made the right Rotterdam final this week. Winner of that match is going to play either Basilashvili or Milman in the second round. Then we have Shardy versus Evans, and that is a fun match between two unseeded players, but very good unseeded players. And the winner of that gets to play against number two seed Roger Federer for the first time since the Australian Open last year. We're talking about Roger Federer. We're talking about Roger in a draw. Very excited to watch him. We're going to be watching him a lot this week. And I've got to be honest, he's got a pretty good draw. There are some names that maybe can cause him some troubles. Chorich, Milman, they've pushed Federer in the past. But Federer's got to be happy with this draw. Even if he gets to the semifinals, he won't be too worried about Shapovalov or Goffin. So Federer's got a great draw. Could make the final in his comeback. So there you have it. Federer's back, team's back, and Rublev is continuing his tournaments. He's played a lot of tournaments over the last couple of weeks since making that quarterfinal of the Australian Open. Played Rotterdam last week. He's playing this week, and I think he's playing Dubai next week. So watch out. Rublev's playing a lot of tennis, but we all want to watch Roger. Roger's back. First time in a year. Let me know down in the comments below who's winning this event. It's very wide open. Do you think Federer has a chance? So a very strong tournament for an ATP 250. You've got Grand Slam champions. You've got great next-gen guys. And it's very hard to pick as well. But I'm going to go with Rublev. Rublev's in such great form at the moment. I'm going to pick him to win this tournament just based on recent form. Played really well in Rotterdam last week. He beat Pass along the way. And of course, that quarterfinal of the Australian Open. I'm only worried that he's not going to be fit enough coming into Doha, but I'm going to stick with him. I think Rublev is the man. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win. So Roger Federer, he's back in the draw in Doha. 